Twisted 3D printed vases are best sellers in both online stores and physical shops. Let's make a quick prototype of one using this curved pattern. To save you time and keep the tutorial short, I've already set up the project and created the component we'll work in. This rectangle sketch will guide some parts of the design. I'm placing it just next to the origin so we can use the center axis later. The width of the rectangle doesn't matter, just make it wider than the vase, but the height will match the vase's height in this workflow. Use as few sketch points as possible when working with the fit point spline. Three points are enough for this design. Set the bottom and top dimensions to control the vase's size. Adjust the shape by moving the control point and dragging the green control bars. You can always return and edit the sketch later to refine your design after viewing the 3D shape. This offset sketch line is a crucial part of the workflow, where we combine solid and surface modeling to create the twisted pattern around the vase. The offset distance we choose will define the depth of the curved pattern. Use the revolve command to create a 3D shape from your sketch. Select the inner sketch as the profile and choose either the rectangle's edge or the seat axis above the origin as the axis. Leave the default settings in the command window, then press enter to confirm. The ideal thickness depends on factors like the 3D printing material, printer settings, the need for a waterproof design, printing time, desired quality and more. I'm using an offset plane to create the curved pattern. Since the pattern will meet the top of the vase at an angle, I'll sketch above the vase to ensure proper alignment. The length of the line doesn't matter as long as it extends slightly beyond the vase. Adding an angle to this line is key to achieving the curved look. Remember to save your Fusion project regularly to sync your data with the cloud. Next, create another line at the bottom of the vase. Make it the same length as the top line, but keep it straight without an angle. These lines form the backbone of the elegant curved pattern. Connecting the lines is straightforward using the loft tool in surface modeling. The default settings work perfectly for this project. But, as with many tools in Fusion, there's a wide range of options available, giving you the flexibility to customize the results to fit your design needs. Use the Thicken tool and select the surface you've created. Adjust the thickness based on your design needs, ensuring the direction suits your intent, outward, inward or symmetric. It's a good idea to set this as a new body for easier control later in the design process. We have a nice setup here. Have you already thought about the workflow for getting rid of the excess geometry? Go back to the sketch profile created with the offset command at the start. If we had used this profile directly with the revolve tool, we would have ended up with a linear shape. Instead, this workflow lets us achieve a curved profile. Select the profile and the axis as usual, but here's the key. Change the revolve operation type to intersect. This creates a solid that perfectly follows the curvature defined by the earlier sketch. Hide the sketch and inspect how the curved pattern meets the top of the walls. The chamfer tool works well for adjusting edges here. Test different distances to find the right fit. I like to iterate until it feels just right. 
got a better way to determine the maximum chamfer distance? Drop a comment, every viewer would love to know. The fillet tool is another excellent option for refining these edges. Quick tip, you can access it faster with the F shortcut. Don't overlook the full round fillet, it's a powerful choice in many workflows. As for the bottom of the vase, it's looking good enough for this prototype, so we'll leave it as is and move on. The top of the vase provides an excellent opportunity to add a defining surface using the chamfer tool. Adding a different color here can make the design stand out while introducing a cohesive free color palette. One for the vase, one for the pattern on the outside, and one for the inside surface at the top. Pro tip, need color inspiration? Search for popular color palettes online to discover beautiful combinations with RGB and hex codes. Start by choosing a base color like a white matte finish. Right-click your color code to paste the RGB values directly or use the advanced settings to enter the hex code. Hex codes are also called HTML color codes. They're just another way to define colors. Once you've set the color, right-click it in the menu, duplicate it and apply it. Repeat this process for the custom color on the outside pattern. For the top of the vase, there's a small tweak. Apply the color to specific faces instead of the whole body. Zoom in for better precision, then repeat the steps as before. The circular pattern tool is perfect for evenly distributing designs around the vase. Before selecting your profile, double check that the preset matches the object, then select the Z axis, ensuring it's perfectly aligned with the center of the design. Experimenting with different quantities is quick and easy. And remember, you can always revisit and edit this feature through the Fusion timeline if you decide to make changes later. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to the Maker Letters. It's a small gesture that helps keep this channel running and ensures more free Fusion tutorials for both beginners and advanced users. This pen holder tutorial is a great next step. It's packed with tips and techniques to sharpen your skills. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.